In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a single scale assessment. So a single scale assessment can be used for placement tests or any other type of test in which you want to, you want the result to be within a certain scale and levels of that. So I'm going to show you what that is. So just click on assessment here in your dashboard or here and you will see a list of your assessments. So like I said, it, they can be used for surveys or placement tests or employee satisfaction um, assessments. So if you just click here, you can just type the name of your new assessment and you can start, uh, you can choose a, an assessment type. So because we want the, the result to be within a certain scale, we can create the scales here and so for the single scale assessment, I suggest creating the questions first and the categories or the percentages or points later. So you click on new question. And then for example, if you want to the person to find out about how your employees are feeling about going to work every day. So I'm going to start creating the first question and that can be how would you rate your satisfaction at work, for example? And then you can say excellent and put more, more points for it. Uh, great, a little less, and then regular. Then you put some less points and you can say, I feel disappointed, I feel demotivated. Okay, and then you can keep adding questions like this. So just click here, add a new question, right? So do you feel like the work you do is fulfilling? So you could put just yes or no. So yes would be like three points and no would be like minus three, for example. So if you just add two answer options, they, they only, these are the only ones that are going to show. So you could say, how would you, how would you rate your relationship with your colleagues, for example? So you could, you could write down all the answer options and also add points to them. So for example, it's excellent. And then you can just add points here. Um, I'm going to show you that too in another one. So good, four points and it's regular and then two points and uh, okay, it can be one point and you can add another one. like it's really bad, then you put zero or minus something. Next one. You could also add some types of questions in which the person has to choose between numbers. So for example, on a scale from one to five, how would you rate um, or qualify your motivation at work? So then you can say five being very motivated and one being not motivated at all. And then you can, what you can do is that you can add, for example, five, it will be very motivated. So five, five, and then you put four and four, sorry, four and then three and three, two and two and one, finally. So you click save and you have all your, the questions of your assessment here. Of course you, you can add more questions and there are different question types that you can add like free text questions. So this is just an example. So if you go to the categories tab, you will see that you have the maximum points in the test. 
So this is important because now that you, you finished creating your assessment, you have to create the, the category. So I am measuring employee satisfaction. So I have to put here the maximum amount of points for someone to fall, to still fall in this category. So this is the maximum allowed score for a given category. So if the person gets 18 points, it means that they are very satisfied at work. So you could say very satisfied and then you can write something like congratulations, uh, blah, 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 and whatever. And you can add a picture, a source, you can decide the category color, so that's what it shows in the end. And then for the next one, I can write down other options. So you're not, uh, you could say you are, you are almost very satisfied <laughs> or you're, you lack some motivation. So you can take a look at this and write down a description, a category description. So I have here 18 points for the maximum. So if the person gets up to, I could say up to 14, I can say they're almost very satisfied at work. And I can describe what it means in my description, add a picture and add a, another category. So I could say, oh, you are um, not so happy and I could put here like up to 10 points. That means the person is not very happy at work. And keep adding categories like you need to, uh, your company needs to work on the team morale. And then you have, you put here less points. So that was 10. You just put here up to to five and then so on and then you can decide colors for each category as well so just click save if you go to the user management tab so it depends on what you want for example if you want this to be like a survey and to be anonymous is also also possible to make it optional or even not to ask for any information at the login page. So you get the results, but they won't be attached to anyone or you can make it required. Ask for a username and email address, for example, save. And you can go to the layout and styling tab and change the colors if you'd like and take the assessment. So you can just start the test. Okay, so how would you rate your satisfaction at work? You can put whatever you want here and you will see the results after you sign up or you can put this login page in the beginning as well. And then you have the score, it shows your score and then all the categories here and what score you got. So it's really nice and you can use it for a lot of purposes, different purposes like placement tests. So I hope you enjoyed what, watching this video. And if you have any questions, you can send an email to support at onlinequizcreator.com. Thank you, bye-bye.